Hey folks, welcome back to The Restaurant Show. You know, one of my favorite parts about hosting this show is not only all the great local food, but trying something new. We have a new partner on board, and right now we're joined by Michael Alfin from Elite Catering and Mandy Masters from Wisconsin Pork Producers. How are you guys? Best day ever. How are you? Best. I love that. That's the first time I've ever had <laughs> you can use that. on you the can show. Use that. I love that. That's I love awesome. that. So, uh, Michael, we're going to be starting out with some Bav Bavarian pork soup and some roast pork tenderloin. So yes, I'm really sir. excited about that. So you can start whenever you like. But I would like to uh, ask Mandy a couple questions here. So let's talk a little bit about cooking pork at home because a lot of the folks that watch our program, they like to know, can I do this at home? How do I do it at home? You know, I don't have a whole lot of experience. But uh, what should viewers know when cooking pork at home? Well, absolutely, pork is a wonderful meat to choose to cook at home, and it's so much easier than some people might think. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest thing that I can tell people to remember is to cook it to 145 degrees. 145, okay. So that might have a blush of pink in the center, and sure. some people might be a little afraid of that, but it's safe to eat that way, and it's going to be the most tender, juicy, flavorful pork you've ever had. So 145 with a blush of pink is okay for pork? Yes, sir. Good to it know. It is. Very good Use a know. meat thermometer. That's the best way to know when your meat is done. Absolutely. So many people overcook their pork. Same yeah. with chicken, and then they're like, oh, this is terrible. Because they well, think they have to. Probably. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, got to be safe, got to be safe. Right. You don't need to be safe. It is safe. So Very safe. So now, uh, Michael, what kind of cut of pork are we looking at here? We got a pork tenderloin from my friend Mandy. She absolutely <laughs> loves pork tenderloin, so I had to make sure I bring that for her on every event. It's we my favorite. We put this on the grill this morning. You okay. saw the grill marks, I should say, about. Very nice. Yep, Very and you can beautiful. see the pink. You can see the pink in there. So That's you want to go with a nice medium. Is, sure. is fine. If you cook this any longer, as lean as that muscle is, uh -huh. you're going to cook out what little bit of fat is in there and you will have a very dry product. Yes, yes, and cook so, out some flavor too, I bet. Correct, correct. So, uh, Mandy, when, uh, what, what sort of considerations do you take when uh, choosing different cuts of pork? Yeah, well, something like this tenderloin is a very lean cut, so okay. you're going to want to cook that quick. Um, quick and cooking. It is. It's okay. a quick cooking cut. So you can have this on the table ready to eat in mm -hmm. under 20 minutes. Okay. Um, that that can be ready for you to go. Okay. Something else, like I think what we're going to get to um, with with the soup there has mm -hmm. like a pork shoulder in it, which okay. that's got a little more marbling and flavor, and you're going to want to do a low and a slow cooking process okay. on that to get it tender. Okay, good to know. Now, is there a particular temperature that works better uh, for doing a quick cook for uh, for one of these? I like to do a hot grill. I'm hot sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Nope, that's hot a grill good or a hot sear. <laughs> sear the outside. It caramelizes the exterior, yep. so yeah. you hold all your natural juices in. If you think of blistering your finger on a stove, the same thing. You keep the juice inside, Perfect. and then turn the heat back and finish it off until you get to your internal temperature. Okay. Okay. So start out hot, cool it down just a little bit, and mm -hmm. then uh, wait for the. Yeah, let it rest again. a couple minutes mm -hmm. so that all the cell structure can reset, and very nice. You won't have a thing bleeding out all over. So may I try some? Uh, you, piece of yes, this? you may try. Oh my gosh, it's so tender. I can't believe it. Yeah, normally when I when I cook these things, man, they're dry. Yep, you're probably <laughs> overcooking it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That mm. works, and we got a little citrus rice peel off there mm. with a little lemon, a little lime and orange zest, and then we got to get you into that soup. And the soup works very nice as a sauce, also. You can leave that, you know, like a chowder if you would, or you can blend it if you want something like a potage. You can you can use it either way. Now, is this something that you cook pretty regularly? Yeah, for all, all the time. Yeah, I, we actually raise our own hogs for the business. Really? So yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> So I, we work with pigs all the mm. time. You like that okay? That is delicious. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. I love it, love it. Well, Mandy mm. out from uh, Wisconsin Pork Producers, I want to thank you for coming on today. We're going to bring Debbie in here. Absolutely. Now, uh, also from Elite, Elite Catering. Debbie, how are you doing? I am great, thanks. Good to have you with thanks. us. Thanks for coming on today. So I think uh, Mike's got another couple of things that we're going to do. A, a breasted chicken Malibu with coconut cream mango sauce mm -hmm. and citrus rice. Mm -hmm. And then the Polynesian pork with sweet and sour pineapple glaze. Yes, sir. So I'm really excited about That's that. You. So, um, you know, I was looking through your menus online and noticed that you have some themed buffets. Can you expand on what those are? She can we have. do. The Polynesian one, for instance, has the pork option or the Malibu chicken. There's mm -hmm. a variety of things. Sometimes when people are wanting to put together a special event, mm -hmm. they're not sure what they want to do for a menu. And sometimes if you have a theme, say for Cinco de Mayo, do our Mexican buffet mm -hmm. or our German buffet, it kind of sets the whole tone for the party. Sure. And they don't have to think a lot. They just got to pick out a couple things that we've right. already put together for them. That's good, you know, and if it, it, everything else kind of falls into place once you pick that theme. Like yes, it, just it does. It has a logical flow to it. So. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, because you guys, we've talked a lot about pork so far, which is awesome. 
But um, let's talk a little bit about Elite Catering in the couple minutes that we have left. Why should we choose to work with Elite Catering over, I mean, there's so many different catering companies out there. Yes, there is. Well, we've been catering for uh, 25 years, 20, 22 25. years, actually. Yeah. yeah, feels like 25. <laughs> and yeah, uh, we're strictly an off-premise caterer, so okay. we do a real big variety of things. We uh, cater on the Dell's Boat okay. uh, trips. Uh, we just did one last weekend. He's even been grilling on the boats uh, oh, oh, when, right. while the whole group is on the boat. We have done, uh, we do the Mid-Continent Railroad gourmet years dinner. years on the gourmet dinner trains. Oh, wow. And he cooks that all at our facility, and then it's brought on board and um, serve the guests that way. Okay, very good. Now, this is the shoulder that you were talking about. Is this here right? actually is a pork prime rib. This, this is, is what we're going to use for the Polynesian okay. pork. Gotcha. The shoulder is in your soup. Oh, that's You've the already shoulder. had the okay. shoulder. So. Gotcha, I already had um, the shoulder. And then I brought along a little bacon and a little grind for you guys for the staff. Ooh. So our Polynesian Thank pork, you. we're going to we serve... we got to have you back. Of course. <laughs> I can cook all day. We're going to serve that with a little Asian coleslaw, and we're going to so put good. some uh, little pineapple glaze over that. And then our Malibu chicken, which is a huge success. Now, this isn't one portion, just for your knowledge. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe but we serve that with a coconut Malibu cream sauce. Yeah, that looks like and we serve that over the citrus rice. So it's a very nice buffet if you want to do something a little different, something a little original. Let something that your people will always be talking about. We've had good marriages that don't last as long as the people talking about the food we brought them. So, no, <laughs> that's, that's too bad true. that couple split up. But boy, that food was good. Yes, yes. <laughs> We'll hire them for the divorce party. Wouldn't yes. that be awesome? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so. So another market you can expand into. Yes, sir. So uh, we talked a little bit about We got just a few seconds left. Yes, but, please. Um, talk about just a couple of the other uh, venues that you've catered for. You talked about being on the boat, train. Yes, sir. What other events have you um, catered for? We do a lot of different um, places such as the Baraboo Arts Center, okay. um, the Fish Fry at Devil's Lake State Park. Okay. There's our pineapple glaze. My oh, brother yeah, have at her. We pretty much go statewide if people will be willing to hire us. Um, okay. We've done stuff from La Crosse to Fond du Lac down to Chicago area. So what's the best have van, we'll travel. What's the best way for people to get in touch with you if they want to find out more? They can go on our website, EliteCatering.info, and our email address is on there and our phone number is on there. That's mm. the best way to connect with us. I try really hard to get back to people in 24 hours. I know not everyone does that. Michael and Debbie from Elite Catering, thank you so much for bringing in such great food. Good, enjoy. Thanks for the education. More restaurant show coming up after the break. Stick around.